Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting challenges every day and today we have a really interesting and tricky challenge, we have 10 minus 8 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, everyone learns this stuff in the third grade because we have a very simple subtraction, very simple division, but 97% make this mistake and I wanted to record this video, but before solving this I want to suggest you to pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is a correct answer? Right here we have three options A, B and C, so choose one option what do you think is a correct and write your option down into the comment section, we will check the answers in the end of the video. So in the world there are two types of students, so first type of students solve this question like that, so this is like our first, first interpretation, so we have our challenge, so 10 minus 8 divided by 2. So here is our question, and the first type of students solve this question like that. They don't know about order of operation, they solve this question randomly, so we have 10 minus 8 right here we have on the left hand side which is equal to 2, and with this division by 2, so we have 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1. So for a lot of students the correct answer is 1, they solve this question like that, they solve this question absolutely randomly from left to right, but in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because we, we can't solve algebra question uh, wherever we want, we should know what is the correct order to do this question. And let's forget um, uh, about this uh, interpretation, let's look for example at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, so right here we should go from the top to the bottom, so parentheses have the highest priority and uh, the lowest priority addition and subtraction. So the first step parentheses, then we evaluate exponent, then we evaluate multiplication and division part, and the last step is addition and subtraction group. So right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation, ok? Right here we solved it before uh, with, uh, with randomly approach, but right now let's solve it according to PMDMC. So we have 10 minus 8 and divided by 2, 10 minus 8 divided by 2. So now let's scan what elements right here we have, so parentheses, first step, let's look at it, where do we have maybe parentheses? For me personally I don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part, we don't have any parentheses, it's really great, we skip this part. What about exponents, maybe cubes, maybe fifth power, I don't see any of those, we don't have any powers like 10 square, 8 cube, we don't have any of those, so we just skip this part as well. Yeah, let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division groups. So right here we should find where do we have multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. So for me personally I don't see any multiplication sign, but if you look closely we have right here division sign. So uh, finally we find our first step. So right here we find our first step, this is division step. We don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have multiplication, we find this division part. So we should start from this division at first. So we have 10 minus 8 divided by 2 equal to equal to 4. And the last step is subtraction, so we don't have addition, yeah? Uh, we don't have it, we don't have addition, and we have we have subtraction, we have subtraction part. So as you can see, we have only division and only subtraction. And division is all the time before before subtraction. So we should we should uh, add divide at first and then subtract. Okay, so right here our last step we do need our order of operation. So we have 10 minus 4 equal to equal to 6. But very interesting moment because a lot of students don't see this option right here. We don't have this option 6 and a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer 1. They say okay we don't have this 6 then I go back to this wrong answer 1. But if you look closely correct answer is 6 100% because we solve it according to a correct order of operation and this is very big mistake when we subtract at first then divide. This is very huge and very big mistake in terms of mass. Right here division before subtraction, this is the main rule, we divide at first, then we subtract at first, this is the key moment right here. If you go back to this wrong answer right here, if you put parentheses then the correct answer will be will be 1, because we should start from this parentheses at first, so 10 minus 8 inside parentheses, then subtraction will have the higher priority than division, because this is inside parentheses, but parentheses have the highest priority. Yeah? So then 10 minus 8 equal to 2, with this division and option a is a correct answer. In our case we don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part. Our correct answer is 6, but what about correct option? Let's look at it, where do we have maybe this option 6? So right here we have A, B, but this option C it's a really tricky moment, because 3 factorial, this is a product from 1 to to 3. A lot of students forget about it, and a lot of students mm, uh, can't uh, solve this tricky moment, because right here 6, and this is 3 factorial, this is the same 6, we have 2, 2 times 3 equal to 6, so right here we have we have the same 6, so we can write our answer, our correct answer to this challenge, our answer, this is option 
Option C is a correct answer to this challenge. Very tricky moment, I hope you understand my explanation, but the main moment right here, division is before subtraction. So this is a very big mistake, when you will subtract it first, then divide, you should know what is the correct order to do this problem. And the correct order is division and then subtraction. And the correct answer is option C, so I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure, so if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos, so I really appreciate if you if you support me with your subscribe and uh, leave a like and thank you for your time. Have a great day and I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. See you in the next videos.